Max Payne was always a bit of a show-off. For our ex-cop anti-hero, a gunfight meant diving headfirst through a door, pirouetting in mid-air, and busting three slack-jawed goons without taking a single hit. On iOS, Payne is rarely that stylish. Firefights often result in an awkward fumble of thumbs, ending up with poor old Max in a crumbled heap on the floor, and half of his targets still breathing. Moments of actual showboating are sadly few and far between. It's not really his fault though, the iOS controls are adequate, especially with a little tweaking in the options, but no touchscreen buttons could quite give the fidelity needed to pull off Payne's best tricks. To compensate, the game is pitifully easy. The default option offers up the world's most generous auto-aim, and as on the PC version, you're locked into the cakewalk fugitive mode on your first playthrough. On this mode, enemies are such pushovers, you get so many painkillers and there's so much ammo that it's nearly impossible to die. In fact, the only times I've conked out so far have been at the hands of a nuisance subway train and an accidental belly flop off a fourth story balcony. Thankfully, there's a little more to Max Payne Mobile than just an endless series of slowed down showdowns. We get a comically overwritten noir story and hints of Eisner and Elroy told in graphic novel vignettes and laced with enough similes and metaphors to fill a rap anthology. It's also got plenty of humour peppered throughout. One enemy gets caught with his pants down so you have to chase him through the level with his trousers around his ankles. If you sneak up on thugs before you whack them, you can eavesdrop on their comedic banter. In 11 years, Payne hasn't aged all that gracefully. At the dizzying height of Matrix Mania, his bullet dodging combat was quite possibly the coolest thing ever committed to a compact disc. Nowadays, the constant dives just get a little repetitive. With the fumbly controls, it makes it a doubly hard sell to anyone who doesn't fondly remember The Fugitive with a permanent grimace and a penchant for time manipulation. But if you're nostalgic for slow motion gunplay, Rockstar's iOS port will just about satisfy.